Yeah, what up, what up, it's your boy, Reezy Ree HD. Lately, I've been wondering, why do I have an Xbox One? I haven't even played it in over a month. The thing is collecting dust. And I'm looking at these upcoming games like, e what? I just can't, I don't, I don't, I can't justify still having it. Here's the thing though. I still got about four or five months left on my Xbox Live Gold subscription but there's nothing to play, <laughs> you know? I was gonna make a video about the, where are the games, but I can just put that in in conjunction with this video and express that through the point that I'm trying to make, okay? So let me show you, for example, the games I have for Xbox One. These are just the physical games. These don't include the digital games that I have on my console, but let me just show you the physical games, okay? This is the current list of games I have for my Xbox One. Let's go through them real quick. Call of Duty Black Ops 3, also available on PS4. Destiny also available on PS4. Tom Clancy's The Division, also available on PS4. Halo 5 Guardians, Xbox exclusive. You get the drift. It's almost like I have this console strictly to play Halo. And after you exhaust the, the multiplayer, after you beat the campaign, there's no reason to play Halo 5 anymore. It doesn't have that lasting appeal. I love the multiplayer. I've been playing it for years, dating back to the original Xbox. So I just love it. And it's probably the reason I bought an Xbox One. I'll tell you straight. It's the reason I bought an Xbox. If you watch my Halo 5 unboxing video. You got that Halo 5, bruh? You know I got that Halo, Halo, Halo. Stop playing. For real? Of course I got that Halo 5, baby. Ooh la la. And if you watched the content that I made around the time when I purchased an Xbox One, you'd have known that already if, if you've been rocking with me for a while. I'm looking at these games coming up like Cuphead, Scalebound 3. Those are your exclusives? Those are your first part. What, why do I, have, like why? <laughs> There's no reason. Let me, let me give you some background, okay? So there was a point where I wanted to transition from playing on a television, on a couch or bed to playing at my desk with a monitor. So I made some purchases and I had a tough choice to make because I couldn't afford to get both, okay? So I decided to get the Astro Mixamp TR, so this guy right here. See that right there? I decided to get that for the Xbox One. We all know that the white one is for the Xbox One, the black one is for the PS4. I decided to go with this guy. The reason behind that was I was trying to create a way or justify purchasing games for the Xbox, you know, even if they're multi-plat. So I made a decision like, I'm gonna play the majority of my games moving forward on Xbox One. Because every time I go to get a game, they're like PS4, or Xbox One. And it was always PS4 and then, at one point it was Xbox One, Xbox One, please. Let's go, let's go for that Xbox One version. And now I'm like, this was a bad move. Like I wish I got the Astro TR for the PS4. I still might try and get one and then get rid of this, but I might get rid of the console altogether because moving forward, I don't have a reason to play it. You know, the, the I don't play, I don't play the division as much. I don't play Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I don't play Halo 5 anymore. Destiny, I've exhausted way back beneath the ruins of a Cosmodrome. Like, come on. <laughs> like, I just can't see myself playing this in the future. I'm probably just gonna transition and continue to play PS4. Before they raised the price on a PS4, I bought two more years of the uh, online service, uh, PlayStation Plus membership. So I saved about maybe 20 bucks by doing that. Um, I just, I, I can't, you know, I'm a gamer. I love having both consoles, but there's just nothing coming out that can justify me keeping it moving forward. A lot of these games, pray, like a lot of these games are multi-plat. It's not Xbox exclusive. If Halo 6 comes out, I'm not gonna be able to play it. But when's that coming out? You know, so I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you. I actually put the Xbox back in the box, you know, to prevent it from being riddled with dust and I just haven't been playing it you know I, I I don't have any desire to pull it out plug it in and get it going you know I I just can't understand but let me share something with you that kind of influenced this thought process that I'm having right now Phil Spencer recently made some comments let me share that with you real quick today if I look at the top 10 games that people are playing on Xbox one and I do that every day a lot of those games are games that have been around for years. I can pick something, obviously I can pick something like Minecraft, but that's a little bit cliche at this point. But pick something like GTA 5. GTA 5 is a game that's been out forever, a massive success, and still incredibly powerful on our platform in terms of what people are playing as they continue to play it. 
really feel on just on your platform not on ps4 not on pc gta 5 is an incredible success it's it came out what is it it came out four years ago almost four years ago and it's still selling for full price what other game can do that what other game can do that seriously if i didn't have gta 5 i would go to the store see that it's still full price and pay for it and not care not throw a hissy fit not ask for a discount this game is worth every cent i actually have it digitally on ps4 and i don't get games digitally but this is a game that i knew would be a staple and it's worth it and there was something that happened with passwords and they offered like 10 percent off so that's a couple years ago that's when i bought it for uh ps4 digitally but let me read something else that phil spencer said you know if you think about like destiny 2 is coming this year I picked Destiny because I think I have 600 hours into the game. But, you know, Destiny 2 is going to be one of these games that I expect five, six, seven years from now. People are still going to be playing that game. It's going to be a little bit like World of Warcraft. Which, you know, whatever, it's been 10 years later, 15 years later, millions of people play the game. So from a developer's platform, we needed to think about our hardware as multi-generational because we said, okay, there's going to be games that are going to live up multiple generations. And our software platform really has to service a developer's need to service an ongoing set of users. I get it. I totally get it. But what Xbox One first party exclusive can be put on this stage that you're talking about multi-generational massive success because you use examples that are multi-platform you use grand theft auto 5 ps4 xbox one pc destiny xbox one ps4 there there's nothing that's coming out specifically just for microsoft xbox that will be multi-generational where are the games where are the games phil spencer where are the games come on and you, you almost want to streamline everything. I get it. Microsoft Windows 10, Microsoft Xbox One, streamline, multiplayer, multiplat, servers, connecting, gamers on PC, playing gamers on. I, I completely agree with that. I like it. It's a great idea. Kind of like Rocket League, right? You could be on PC or you could be on PC and play your friends that are playing on PS4. I think that's great. Cross-platform multiplayer game. I think it's dope. But when you talk about Games having longevity, World of Warcraft, Destiny. First of all, people said that Destiny would be around for years. You know, they call this, uh, what do they call it? Uh, MMO or a MOBA or, no, no, no. They called it a, a MMO. Did they, did they think it was an MMO? Whatever, man. They said that Destiny would be out for, they said that Destiny would be out for like five years. People would be playing this game. And literally three weeks a month, people were done with the game. You know, they were beneath the ruins of a Cosmodrome. <laughs> Here's the thing. I think Destiny 2 will be five times more successful than Destiny 1 was, but that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother video. I, I, I just can't justify having an Xbox One. You know, I'm, I'm seriously considering getting rid of my Xbox One and focusing just on purchasing games for PS4 because that's where it's at. I'm just not digging the whole, you know, he wants to streamline it, make it some sort of service similar to Netflix with this game in on Xbox, Phil Spencer, I don't know, I don't know, bro, like, you, it's like you're losing touch with, with, with the essence of what us gamers want, and what we, you know, it, you, it's, it's business, you know, and I get it, but I don't get it, you know, but anyways, guys, I'm probably gonna sell my Xbox One, let me know down below, let me know a seriously legit list of games that are coming out, because Cuphead's not doing it for me, Scalebound 3, Eh, you know what I'm saying? Let me know if there's any reason where you that you think I should hold on to this console, man, because I, I just I just gotta keep it moving and focus on PS4, man. That's about it, guys. So let me know down in the comments below all those games and any reasoning to hold on to this. If not, it's out of here, bro. But don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and stay tuned for much more videos on the way. It's been your boy Reezy VHD, and I'm out. Peace.